did you know that cardiovascular disease, particularly heart attacks, is a major global health concern? Shockingly, heart attacks claim the lives of over half a million people worldwide every year, with many heart attacks starting with a sudden spike in blood pressure. So, to deal with this issue, we've made this video to show you four quick and effective ways to lower your blood pressure at home. These techniques are all about giving you immediate relief when you really need it. Stick around till the end because we will also delve into long-term strategies that can significantly reduce blood pressure over time. Understanding Normal Blood Pressure To effectively manage blood pressure, it is crucial to understand what constitutes normal readings and why keeping it within safe limits is paramount for our overall health. Traditionally, a normal blood pressure reading was considered to be around 120 over 80 mmHg or millimeters of mercury. However, recent research has prompted a shift in this perspective, considering 140 over 90 mmHg as a safer threshold for most individuals. Blood pressure is typically measured using two numbers, systolic pressure and diastolic pressure. The systolic pressure represents the force exerted on arterial walls when the heart contracts and pumps blood, whereas the diastolic pressure indicates the pressure within the arteries when the heart rests between beats. These measurements are expressed in millimeters of mercury, or mmHg. Maintaining healthy blood pressure levels is of utmost importance to avoid a range of potential health risks. Consistently elevated blood pressure puts strain on the heart and blood vessels, increasing the likelihood of developing various cardiovascular conditions. These can include heart disease, strokes, kidney problems, and impaired vision. By keeping blood pressure within safe limits, you can significantly reduce the chances of experiencing these adverse health outcomes. Blood pressure management is not only vital for those already diagnosed with hypertension, but for everyone regardless of age or gender. It is a proactive measure that can enhance well-being and promote a healthier lifestyle. Risks and Complications of High Blood Pressure High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a common yet serious health condition affecting millions worldwide. When left untreated or unmanaged, high blood pressure can cause significant damage to many parts of the body leading to severe health complications. The potential health risks associated with unmanaged high blood pressure are numerous and can be life-threatening. High blood pressure contributes to the development of heart disease, such as heart attacks and myocardial infarction, as well as strokes, which are caused by impaired blood flow to the brain. Additionally, uncontrolled high blood pressure can cause kidney disease and vision problems, including blurred vision, damage to the retina, and even blindness. High blood pressure can damage blood vessels and organs by putting an increased amount of stress on them. As a result, blood vessels develop excessive scarring, leading to narrowing of the arteries, reduced blood flow, and decreased oxygen supply to crucial organs such as the heart, kidneys, and brain. High blood pressure can lead to the formation of fatty deposits in the lining of arteries, which can restrict blood flow and cause blood clots. Moreover, hypertension can cause underlying damage to the heart muscle, increasing the chances of developing heart disease over time. High blood pressure can lead to an enlarged heart, also known as left ventricular hypertrophy, which can weaken the heart and lead to heart failure. Four quick methods to lower blood pressure. When faced with high blood pressure readings or in emergency situations where immediate blood pressure reduction is necessary, there are several quick methods that can be deployed to help lower blood pressure. While these methods may provide temporary relief, it is important to note that they should not replace long-term management strategies or medical interventions. Here are a few techniques that can be utilized. Number one, foot and hand baths. One method to quickly lower blood pressure is by immersing your feet or hands in warm water. Fill a basin with water heated to around 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit and soak your feet or hands for approximately 10 minutes. This technique promotes vasodilation where the blood vessels widen, allowing for improved blood flow. 
by increasing blood flow, the pressure exerted on the arterial walls is reduced, ultimately leading to a decrease in blood pressure. However, it is crucial to be cautious with the water temperature to avoid burns. Number two, deep breathing. Engaging in slow, deep breathing exercises can help lower blood pressure by activating the body's relaxation response. Find a quiet and comfortable place to sit or lie down. Take slow, deep breaths in through your nose, filling your lungs with air, and exhaling through pursed lips, focusing on lengthening and exhalation. Practice this deep breathing technique for three to five minutes. Deep breathing helps to reduce stress-induced spikes in blood pressure by promoting relaxation and decreasing anxiety levels. It can also aid in managing overall stress, which can have a positive impact on long-term blood pressure control. Now, before we proceed to the next surprising method, like and subscribe to Natural Doc TV to stay updated. Number three, mint tea. Mint tea is known for its potential to promote relaxation and lower blood pressure. To prepare mint tea, steep fresh or dried mint leaves in boiling water for about 10 minutes. Strain the leaves and drink the infused tea. The soothing properties of mint can help calm the nervous system, reduce stress, and contribute to a temporary decrease in blood pressure. However, it is important to note that mint tea should not replace prescribed medications or other treatments for hypertension. Number four, valerian tablets. Valerian is an herb with sedative properties that has been used for centuries to promote relaxation and sleep. In emergency situations where immediate blood pressure reduction is necessary, valerian tablets can be taken. Valerian has been reported to have potential benefits in lowering heart rate and blood pressure. It is important to emphasize that these quick methods should be considered complementary to a comprehensive blood pressure management plan. Lifestyle modifications such as regular exercise, a healthy diet low in sodium and high in fruits and vegetables, weight management, and stress reduction techniques can have a significant and more lasting impact on blood pressure control. Long-term strategies for managing high blood pressure. Managing high blood pressure requires a comprehensive approach that extends beyond quick fixes. By incorporating long-term strategies into your lifestyle, you can effectively manage and reduce high blood pressure levels. Here are some key strategies that can help in the long run. Number one, weight reduction. One of the most effective ways to lower blood pressure is through weight reduction. Losing just one kilogram can result in a reduction of approximately one blood pressure point. Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular physical activity can significantly contribute to blood pressure control. Number two, regular physical activity. Engaging in regular physical exercise is essential for managing high blood pressure. By incorporating at least 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity into your daily routine, you can reduce blood pressure levels by five to eight points. Activities such as brisk walking, swimming, cycling, or dancing can promote cardiovascular health and maintain a healthy blood pressure range. Number three, dietary adjustments. Proper nutrition plays a crucial role in managing blood pressure levels. Adopting a dietary plan rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products, while limiting the intake of refined, fatty, and fried foods, can lower blood pressure by approximately 11 points. This dietary approach, known as the Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, or DASH, diet, emphasizes the importance of reducing sodium, or salt intake, and includes foods high in potassium, magnesium, and calcium. It is recommended to work with a registered dietitian to develop a personalized meal plan that aligns with your dietary preferences and health needs. Number four, salt intake reduction. Excess salt consumption is closely associated with high blood pressure. Restricting sodium intake to five grams or less per day can lead to a reduction of approximately five blood pressure points. This can be achieved by avoiding processed foods, reading food labels, cooking from scratch using fresh ingredients, and using herbs and spices instead of salt for seasoning. 
It is important to note that while cutting back on salt, ensuring an adequate intake of other essential nutrients is equally important. Number five, avoiding alcohol and smoking. Both excessive alcohol consumption and smoking can significantly raise blood pressure levels. Avoiding or limiting alcohol intake and completely ceasing smoking can contribute to a considerable reduction in blood pressure. Quitting smoking also reduces the risk of heart disease and other cardiovascular complications. Number six, stress management. Stress can contribute to blood pressure spikes and have a negative impact on overall cardiovascular health. It is crucial to adopt effective stress management techniques to prevent stress-induced blood pressure elevation. Techniques such as deep breathing exercises, meditation, yoga, mindfulness, and engaging in hobbies or activities that promote relaxation can help in managing stress levels. Regular exercise and maintaining a healthy lifestyle also play key roles in stress reduction. Monitoring and tracking blood pressure. Regular monitoring and tracking of blood pressure levels are essential for managing high blood pressure effectively. By monitoring blood pressure at home using a blood pressure monitor or cuff, individuals can actively engage in their own health care and make informed decisions about their treatment plans. Here are some key considerations for monitoring and tracking blood pressure. Interpreting blood pressure readings. Understanding how to interpret blood pressure readings is crucial in managing hypertension. Blood pressure readings consist of two numbers, systolic pressure, top number, and diastolic pressure, or the bottom number. A normal blood pressure reading is typically around 120 over 80 mmHg. Elevated blood pressure, prehypertension, and hypertension are defined based on specific ranges. Keeping a blood pressure log. Maintaining a blood pressure log can be beneficial for tracking changes over time and identifying patterns or triggers that may result in blood pressure spikes. In a blood pressure log, individuals can record their readings along with relevant information such as the time of day, activities performed, medications taken, and any symptoms experienced. By regularly updating the log, individuals can gain insights into how their blood pressure fluctuates throughout the day and identify potential factors that contribute to elevated readings. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Natural Doc TV for more health and wellness tips, including natural and homeopathic treatments. Feel free to share any questions or comments you may have, and we'll see you next time on Natural Doc TV.